today I'm going to recite and summarize the poem written by Walter Delamere. Walter Delamere was an English poet, short story writer and a novelist. He is best remembered for his poems for children. In science, we have already learnt about the process of germination. Let's watch a short video to understand this process. Seeds require water, mineral salts in the soil, warmth to grow. When this medium is conducive, they sprout turning into seedlings that grow out of the soil looking for sunlight. The seeds I sowed for weeks unseen have pushed up pygmy shoots of green. So frail you think the tiniest stone would never let a glimpse be shown. But no, a pebble near them lies at least a cherry stone in size. Which that mere sprout has heaved away to bask in sunshine, see the day. Now in this poem, Walter Delamere makes some beautiful observations. He sows seeds and waits for them to sprout for weeks. He is excited when they start sprouting and slowly change into seedlings. He is excited and marvels at the way these young shoots push through the ground and make their appearance on the face of the earth looking for sunlight. Let's look at the contrasting characters in the poem. The shoot. The poet feels that the shoot is weak and frail, small and fragile, with no strength to push against the stone on its path. But in reality, he is marveled that the shoot actually pushes the pebble and makes its way out of the soil into the sunshine. What do we learn from the shoot? The shoot shows how determined it is. It is strong, though it looks frail. It is willful. It has a lot of inner strength. It has life. It's a living thing. Let's look at the stone. The poet thinks that the stone is strong, large and not frail like the shoot and that it will not allow the seedling to make its way out of the soil. But in reality, the shoot manages to push the cherry-sized pebbles out of its way and makes its way to bask in the sunshine and see the day. The stone is bigger and stronger, but it does not stop the seedling from growing. What does the shoot and the stone teach us in life? overcome our troubles, move forward even when there are obstacles in our path. Do you want to be like the shoot? Do you remember a time when you tried to overcome your troubles? What is something that you learned from this poem? Thank you.